Well, I don't think, I think the uh, NFTs will still be valuable uh, regardless of what happens with the crypto winter. Um, Ether is uh, in the process of being uh, uh, reprogrammed. And if the reprogramming goes through, which I think it will, it will be much faster um, and it will uh, not take up a lot of energy uh, and it will also continue to have smart contracts be programmed. Uh, So Ether is a really good cryptocurrency. By contrast, Bitcoin is very slow. It uses uses huge amount of energy and it also... uh, 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 does not allow for smart contracts. So I think, um, you know, Ether will be here for a long time, no matter what happens with Bitcoin. Bob, if you could weigh in on the whole discussion about inflation and rising interest rates, uh, is it or will it contribute, further contribute to the slump that we're seeing in the crypto market? Well, I think uh, as interest rates go up, uh, then people will be able to get more out of uh, 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 relatively uh, conservative assets like treasury bonds. So far, people have gotten killed in U.S. treasury bonds as interest rates go up. But if they go up uh, further and they stabilize, then if you can get 4 or 5 percent uh, <clears throat> from a treasury bond, then you're going to be less likely to go into risky assets. So in that sense, it's going to hurt cryptocurrencies uh, uh, because they're relatively risky. But that's similar to what's going to happen to, say, emerging market debt and uh, junk bonds and other risky assets. So it won't be any different. 